Good afternoon and welcome to all of you who are joining us in the United States, in Kenya, and other parts of the world. World AIDS Day is such an important occasion, for it gives us the opportunity to focus on and get updates on a disease that has impacted so many around the world, particularly on the continent of Africa. So I am delighted that Soteni International, an organization I support, is using this medium as its 2020 fundraising gala for its life-saving work in rural Kenya. We're thrilled to have members of the Kenya National Philharmonic Orchestra performing for us today, bringing beautiful music. So Tenny means passionate and dedicated partners, social and health workers who provide vital health, nutrition, medicine, and supplies, as well as educating about and preventing HIV and AIDS to persons who are living with this disease, as well as their families. Because the word Satani translates to mean, we are indeed all in this together. I've had the pleasure to engage not only with Satani's Cincinnati-based organizers, its founder, Dr. Victoria Wilson, and executive director, Jenny Brady, board member, the Honorable Tyrone Yates, Judge Yates, and many others, as well as the Kenya Soteni partners in Kenya during my most recent visit to Nairobi. They are a passionate and selfless and talented group of individuals. I was impressed with their knowledge and their commitment, so much so that I informed the United States Ambassador and the U.S. Embassy in Kenya about the work of Soteni, and that has translated into a self-help grant given by the ambassador to foster their efforts. Satini also embodies the concept of Ubuntu, which is a Zulu word meaning I am because you are. It is the common humanity we share and how we need and must promote our common humanity. I've met over the years many individuals living with AIDS who shared frank and intimate details of their lives their stories of the needs for basic necessities like food and nutrition and shelter because they are so often shunned by their own family and friends. They feel lost and isolated. They share their hopelessness about their health condition. But with the help of partners and friends from all over, we can today celebrate their resilience, the spirit of those who have survived what was once a death sentence and are now living meaningful, productive lives and enjoying important and positive health outcomes. And I'm so very happy to know that through the generosity of people like you and organizations such as my home church, the Shiloh Baptist Church in Fredericksburg, Virginia, providing money through our foreign missions organization for the renovation of Soteni's Rural Health Center enabling it to meet the standards of the Kenya government for the provision of health services. Non-government organizations like Soteni promote the best of relationships and partnerships, people to people, which build lasting friendship bonds and strengthen institutional capacity for the partners in the countries that it serves. Their commitment and genuinely making a positive difference is the hallmark of Soteni's work in Kenya. So friends, let us never forget that the fight is not over or on pause. People living with HIV and AIDS already experience acute immune deficiencies and health vulnerabilities. They are more susceptible than ever to contracting COVID and other diseases. So Soteni's work our work, your work, continues and must be supported. We dare not relax our efforts. Please do join Soteni and give generously today and regularly. Save lives, give hope in the spirit of Ubuntu and Soteni, celebrating resilience through generosity. Thank you.